What's up people, this is VyasHQ and in this video, I'll be talking about two things. The first being the selection of mining software and the second thing being, being the ethos distro configuration file. So let's get started. Now, if you talk about the selection of mining software, the thing that you have to keep in mind is the type of cards that you use. Now there are only two manufacturers of GPUs, AMD and Nvidia and the coins available which can be mined are Bitcoin, Litecoin, Musiccoin, Ubic, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Zcash, Monero, Decreed, Sia Coin and others as well. So as of making this video, that is uh, in the October of 2017, the most profitable coins are Zcash and Ethereum to mine. You can search online and you'll find this same thing. Now if we talk about AMD cards, then you'll be needing the help of Claymore. For Zcash, you'll be using Claymore Zcash and for Ethereum, you'll be using Claymore and Nvidia. So for Nvidia, you'll be needing ETH Miner or Ether Miner for Ethereum and EWBF Zcash for Zcash. Now, if you want to mine other coins, so let me be clear, mining coins such as Bitcoin, Litecoin and, and those type of coins, that is a complete waste of money because now those have shifted to ASIC miners and GPU mining will not be profitable at all. But if you want to go for other coins as well, then you can go for Monero. For Monero, you'll be using SG Miner, Dash GM, Dash XMR, and for Music Coin, Sia Coin, Decreed, and the other categories, you'll be needing Claymore. So now for the second part of this video, that is the Ethos Distro configuration file. Now this configuration file, it is the thing that runs Ethereum OS. So there are there are two types of configuration files. The first being local and the second being remote. Now the remote one is the default one, but you can change it to local as well. So in the local config, the, the configuration file is stored on the machine itself. So to change it, you will be needing physical access or remote access to that machine. Next, the remote config. Now this would be stored in a txt file on a server or the config maker provided by ethereum distro or ethos distro and this can be accessed and changed over the internet i personally use remote config but i started out with local config so this is the type of configuration file that you'll have to make now this has many different parts so take a look at this first then i'll explain what each and everything does now max gpu temp as the name suggests over here you will tap in a value which would be the max gpu temperature if the value exceeds this the os will shut down the card next the stratum proxy now this is the proxy that would be used for connecting to the pool now this has three to four options but enabled disabled and minor these are the three main ones and i like to keep it to minor then global minor now th th this would define the type of minor which could be ether minor claymo ewbf zcash claymo zcash or the other miners which are talked about earlier next the proxy wallet now over here you will insert the wallet id over which you want to mine then the proxy pool over here you will define the pool with the port number as well now there are multiple pools available but i personally use supernova and nano pool pool pass now supernova it requires a password to get the worker online and this option has to be used when using pools which use passwords to mine. Next the pool mail or the pool email. Now pools like uh, 
nano pool they require an email id to change the minimum payout so this option would enable that next global core and global memory so the, as the name suggests global core and memory this would set the core Uh, the core speed and the memory clocks or the core clock and the memory clock on all the gpus next global power tune now over here you will set the power tune value now for nvidia the power tune value stands for wattage and for amd the power tune value also stands for wattage but this would be different it would be in the range of 3 to 7 now custom panel the last one over here you will have to type in a 12 digit alphanumeric or the name that you want to set the rig which would be shown on the web page now as i talked earlier or i don't have i don't remember but the main reason i chose ethereum os was because of two things one the ease of use and the second the online web page now using this custom panel you can set the web page to the name that you want now this is an another type of config file over where you define each and every value for individual gpus the first being loc miner and the name so loc would stand for location and this would give the miner a name core miner and values so core this would set the core clock of the minus specified of the individual gpus the same thing goes for memory fan speeds power voltage and reboot now this reboot function it is quite good while using a remote config so what this would enable the user to do is to reboot the system remotely by just increasing the value of the number start with one and keep on going and keep on increasing the number as you want to reboot it so if you rebooted it with 1 and if you change it to 2 it would reboot again and minor the machine name and the name of the miner so if you make a remote config for multiple rigs then that option would be used to set or define individual miner softwares for individual rigs and the last part that is the individual miner proxy wallets and pools now use this option if you are using multiple miners so what you define is claimo equal to proxy wallet or claimo equal to proxy pool now this would set the proxy wallet specifically for claimo to the value set same same goes for ewbf zcash and the others as well so If you have multiple wallet IDs and you want to mine multiple coins then this option has to be used. So that's it for this video. So thank you for watching this video. Like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Go to my other videos and see you next time. Tada.